what up guys let's talk about the system hat let's assume for instance that friction loss is essentially a function of velocity and that the system hat will be used for the pump selection so in the previous video I showed you that we have this task we want to move fluid from tank A to tank B and we need a pump of course because this is not going to be done by itself gravity is against our odds let's say the pressure are the same so we cannot count with that velocities are zero the only thing that is moving here is the static head and the friction so what's this head what what's the system or the system head what's what's going on with this is how much power you required or how much energy per unit kilogram is going to be required per, for the pump to work how much energy will be needed to satisfy the system so how much energy we need to put here in order to move from A to B so how, in essentially is the pumping requirement so you can see it like that when we do the exercise I think you're going to get the idea of what's the system head uh, for example we will know everything on the system when I say or speak about the system head it's because we already have a system fit we already know the pressure here and the pressure here we know the pipe sizes length and diameter we know the pipe diameter and length here we know all the fittings we know the type of elbow here elbow here maybe there's a valve we know everything uh, we have pressure in A and B and we have the height of A and the height of B and the height of the pump so essentially we have everything to solve for pumping system so given that this velocity is zero and that this velocity before going out is two meters per second we have a height of zero with respect of A and a height of two with respect of B we have the pressure in A and because this tank is pressurized we have a little bit more so we got two pressures we have a pressure difference so actually we got more pressure here which means that we need more pumping to do we have the density, yes, and the friction loss along the paths is known. So the only thing we need to do is calculate the head of the system, which sounds kind of fancy, but it is not. This is the head of the system. So we we got the pressures, yes, densities, yes, gravity is a constant. The height on A and B, yes. The velocity of A is given, yes, actually zero. The velocity in 2 is given, the energy loss is given, and there is no work going out. So when we, when we solve for this, we find out these numbers. We're solving here, eventually I got this. This is the famous system head. How many joules per kilogram do you need? I told you that we will actually do it in the exercise hopefully this gets a little bit more clear because the system head is essentially how much pumping requirement is needed for that system so for example before actually going for the next uh, the next topic imagine just imagine what will happen if we need to increase 20 percent on the flow rate so let's say we have this system we can calculate given the diameters and everything here we could calculate this but of course you know that you have one volumetric flow rate but imagine that we need to increase the, the volumetric flow rate in 20 percent what will change well you will change the velocity heights are fixed so this doesn't change pressure are fixed so this does not change and the energy loss will also be affected because velocity is being increased so that's interesting velocity will increase and friction will increase so this right here and this right here and this right here will change with respect of volumetric flow rate and that's what I want you to analyze think and think of the curve or the system head what will happen if we increase Q hopefully you get the idea we're going to increase the amount of requirement of energy this was a free preview you want to get full access go to my incompressible flow course the link is in the description of the video you will get 
all axes. Not only that, you get a very straightforward, uh, user-friendly interface. So, for instance, if you were analyzing or studying pumps, you have it here, the pump block, and then you have the sections. If you were, for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here, and you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.